Our goal here is to help you recognize when you have a derail or hanger problem, a hanger that might be bent, and give you an idea of what we do in the shop to fix that. We most often see damage on mountain bikes, kids' bikes, but occasionally also on road bikes. Let's, let's take a look at the symptoms and fixes. The rear derail or hanger is part of the frame or additional piece of the frame to which the derailleur is attached. It may become bent, usually as a result of a fall, and most of the time is brought to us because of poor shifting. Oftentimes we can get it to shift up to a bigger cog, but when we try to shift down, it becomes quite erratic, or vice versa. The key is to look at the rear derailleur. We can see it's bent slightly inward, and also look at the guide pulley, which doesn't seem to line up with the chain or cog above it. Time to take it to the shop. Then with the chain and the small chain ring in the front and small cog in the back, we'll go ahead and remove the rear derailleur. Most of today's mountain bikes have detachable hangers so that if they get bent or damaged we can easily replace them. Good idea when you first get your mountain bike to get, buy an appropriate extra hanger so if it is damaged you can quickly put on a new one and be out in the road. In the old days we used to take some vice grips and just bend the hanger and try to straighten it out which was sort of hit or miss. Nowadays your shop will use a hanger alignment tool such as this one to straighten out and align the rear derailleur hanger in a much more accurate way. Using the hanger alignment tool we can bend the hanger in very tiny increments either horizontally from the 3 to 9 o'clock position or vertically from the 6 to 12 o'clock position. The tool has an alignment gauge which we're going to try to get the distance between the rim and the gauge for both the top, bottom, and at least one point horizontally less than three to four millimeters and I have a three millimeter Allen wrench here to help me. For more details on how this works Calvin Jones has an excellent presentation from Park Tools, which we have in the upper right-hand corner. One thing to note is always work from the valve itself. This takes out of the equation any misalignment or mistruing of the wheel itself. Again, now, after replacing the derailleur back on the hanger, inserting the cable nice and tightly and Fastening the bolt, adjusting the barrel adjusters. Everything seems to be working fine. I hope this gives you some ideas of the signs and symptoms of a bent derailleur hanger and what we have to do in the shop in order to straighten that out and tune it such that we'll get nice shifting and a good performance out of the bicycle. If you have any suggestions, please comment, please subscribe, keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed Safe Cycling.